Hello, and welcome back to your English lesson. For the sixth graders today, we will begin with Unit 7 vocabulary. The first word is cycling. In the picture, you can see the man is wearing a helmet on his head, he's wearing a special jacket, and he's wearing goggles to protect his eyes. Now, for cycling, what do you need? If you said a chicken, you would be wrong. For cycling, you need a bicycle. The next one is motor racing. For motor racing, again, the man is wearing a helmet, a jacket, and he is driving very fast. But in motor racing, you use a motorbike, not a bicycle. In ice hockey, people play on the ice, and they need skates on their feet so they can move on the ice. In ice hockey, people use sticks to hit a small black circle called the puck, and they try to score a goal. The next one is skiing. Here in Azerbaijan, skiing is very popular in Guba and Gusar. You are going down a mountain very quickly, and of course, it's very cold. A sport that is not so cold is swimming. When you are swimming, you are in the water, maybe in a pool, or maybe outside at the beach. But you are moving your arms and your legs to go through the water. Can you swim? Volleyball is a very interesting game where you have to hit the ball over the net and make sure that the other team does not hit the ball. When the other team doesn't hit the ball, you get a point. You can play volleyball inside of a gym or outside on a beach. Skateboarding. When you are skateboarding, you are on a skateboard and you are moving around the city and you can do different kinds of tricks on your skateboard. You need to use your feet to move. Now, many of you probably know this game. This is chess. Chess is a very popular game where two people need to really think about their move and move their pieces to try and take the king away from their opponent. Some people think it is a very difficult game because you need very good strategy. Tennis almost like volleyball, is a game where, again, you have to hit the ball over the net and make sure your opponent doesn't hit the ball. But in tennis, you use a racket. A racket is the thing you hold in your hand to hit the ball to the other side. Here in this picture, you can see that these students are at Dreamland Golf Club right here in Baku. They are playing golf. In golf, you need to hit a small white ball with a club in your hand very far away into a little hole. Next, we have athletics. Athletics can talk about many different kinds of sports. You need to run or jump or throw something. Here in the pictures, you can see you can run a race, you can throw a javelin, or you can jump over a pole. Athletics are very difficult because you must be very fast and very strong. Football is the most popular game in the world. You need to use your feet, or sometimes your head, to put the ball into the goal. In American football, the biggest difference is that you can use your hands to hold the ball. In American football, you must run the ball or throw the ball to the other end of the field. These football players are wearing helmets on their head because it is a full contact sport. 
people can run and hit each other in this sport. So, it's very dangerous. Break a record. To break a record, it means that you are the best at something. Maybe it's the fastest time, or maybe it's the most of something. In the picture, Michael Phelps broke seven world records. That means he is the fastest swimmer in the world. To score a goal. When you score a goal, you are putting the ball into the net, or you are putting the ball onto the other side of the field. Ronaldinho scored 33 goals for his country. That means 33 times he used his feet or his head to put the ball in the other team's net. To run a race. When you run a race, you start from one point and you try to run to the finish line. In the picture, you see there is a red line. That red line is the finish line. So you try to run as fast as you can to be the first person to win the race. People ran a race at the first ancient Olympic Games in Greece. That means they started from one point of the city and they ran all the way to another point to see who was the fastest. Take part in a competition. When you take part in a competition, you are joining someone and you are competing against them to see who is the best or who is the winner. Many countries took part in a competition in the Olympic Games in 2016. In these Olympic Games, there are many different competitions that different athletes and sportsmen and sportswomen take part in. All of them are trying to see who is the best. Play a game. There are many games you can play. You can play chess or you can play video games. We played chess last week. When you play in a game, you want to win and you want to see who is better. Or sometimes you can play a game just for fun. When you play a game, what you want to do is beat someone at a game. When you beat someone at a game, it means that you are better than them. So you are the winner. I beat my brother at a board game yesterday. In the pictures, these two boys are playing a board game. One of them is the winner. The winner beats someone at a game. To win a game or to win a race. This means that you are number one. Congratulations. The New England Patriots won the Super Bowl in 2019. This means that they are the best team in the league because they are the winners. What was the last game you won? To lose a game or to lose a race. In the picture, you can see there are four people in front of Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt lost a race in 2017. When you lose a race or lose a game, you are not the fastest or you are not the strongest. But it's okay. Hopefully, you will win next time. Key phrases for comparing your answers. I think the answer is... I'm not sure. Maybe the answer is... I don't think so. I think the answer is... When you say, I think the answer is, it means you have an opinion about the real, the true, the correct answer. I'm not sure. Maybe the answer is. You say this when you don't know, but you believe you could have the correct answer. Maybe your answer is right. Maybe your answer is wrong. But most importantly, you are trying. I don't think so. I think the answer is... 
You say this when you know that someone else says the wrong answer and you want to help them and give them the right answer. Key phrases for comparing answers. I agree. I don't agree. Yes, you are right. No, you are wrong. When you say, I agree, you and another person have the same idea. You both think the same and understand each other. I don't agree. When you say, I don't agree, you and another person have different ideas. You may think the sky is blue, but someone else may think the sky is purple. Here, you would say, I don't agree. Yes, you're right. When you say, yes, you're right, you agree with someone. You believe that what they say is right, and they also understand you are correct. No, you're wrong. When you say, no, you're wrong, you don't agree with the other person, and you have different opinions and ideas about what is correct. So, that is all the time that we have for today. Today, we practice all of the vocabulary at the beginning of Unit 7, talking about different sports. Now, in the comment section below, please write what your favorite sport is and why. Thank you very much. I hope to read your answers very soon and see you next time for our online lessons.